Movies, a vast world of entertainment. Hi, I'm Jeff Peterson, and today I'm here with Mr. Paul Kalos, manager of Barrington Square Six Theaters in Hoffman Estates. Barrington Square Six Theaters is one of the only theater complexes of its kind in the northwest suburban area where one can see any of six movies for one dollar. Hello, Mr. Kalos. How do you do, Jeff? Fine. Recently, you've changed to your all your admissions to one dollar. And since you've changed this system, how much have your profits increased or decreased? It's been very successful uh, since we uh, changed over last uh, springtime. Uh, we've run uh, through the springtime now and uh, uh, through the entire summer months. And uh, we are uh, generating a, a nice profit right now. Everybody's happy. How do you select films for the public to see? The films that we show, and again, this is a unique um, situation that we have uh, with the uh, second-run movies that we show uh, at our theater. The uh, the films are uh, are chosen uh, a little bit differently in our case. In our case, we we take the films after the initial first-run theaters have played them, and uh, the uh, the business uh, starts to decline or there's an overabundance of too many films in the marketplace at one time, we will get the, um, the extra uh, films that don't have a place to play. Uh, those are uh, booked by a film buyer that we have in our home office, and the name of our company is American Multi Cinema, in our home office in Kansas City, Missouri. A film buyer negotiates the contract of every film with the film distributor, such as 20th Century Fox, United Artists, uh, Paramount Pictures, whoever it may be that owns the rights to uh, exhibit the film. Uh, our film buyer then will negotiate a contract for the uh, exhibition of the film at our particular theater. It's a negotiated contract in every case. What part do concessions play in your overall profit? In most movie theaters, I would say most theaters throughout the United States, uh, the uh, concession stand is very important. The, uh, the uh, box office receipts in most cases do not pay the rent of the theater. Uh, any profits that a theater may be able to generate are obtained in most cases through the concession stand. In our particular case, our attendance has been so heavy uh, since we changed over to our new pricing policy. As a matter of fact, we're probably one of the busiest theaters in the United States at this point. Uh, we make our profits uh, generally come from the concession stand. It's very rare that we or, or many other theaters would make any profit whatsoever at the box office. Uh, the, uh, the concession stand uh, is a very important part of our, of our operation. Since people are buying video recorders now, have, has that changed? Have you seen a difference in your profits over the over the past few months that is uh, that's something I'd be uh, uh, happy to discuss because what's happened not only with video recorders but particularly video cassette players where people can now rent um, rent a tape uh, can um, uh, uh, or borrow one or play back a TV show or whatever What's happened is the, the people who produce the movies, the independent producers who make movies, uh, now are, um, uh, realize that if a, if a film plays in a movie theater and does not do well, uh, yeah, a few years ago what would happen is there would be no other audience for that, for that film. There might be a United States audience and then perhaps a European or an Asian audience, but after that there was no other audience that could possibly generate any profits for that film. What's happened now, though, is that the producers have realized that once a film has played in theaters, there is a very large market that can be uh, uh, tapped into uh, on uh, cable systems. There's a very large additional market that can be tapped into on a rental of the tapes through video uh, uh, rental stores. And, a, and another market would be the sales of the cassette tapes. So what's happened is the producers of the movies are more encouraged to, to make movies. Uh, they're, they're making more movies now. And in our business, that is the only product that we sell. We sell movies. So the uh, video cassette 
business has helped movie theaters immensely. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mr. Kalos. Now back to our studio. Thank you. Time for a commercial.